Welcome back. I got a couple of spiders in the mail and I'm going to open them today for you. And if you get spiders in the mail, then you are absolutely... So again, thanks for coming back to my channel. Um, like I said in the beginning here, I got a couple of spiders from Fear Not Tarantulas and I'm going to open them. Um, but also, if you have never seen any of my videos, uh, be aware that I have a hate line that you can call in or now you can text. You can text the hate line. So let's start the video off with a text. This is the first text that came in when I announced that I can now accept text messages. So here's the first one. Let's read it and this will kind of give us an idea as to how the video is going to go, maybe. All right, so the text came in and it says, trim your beard. It looks like something your cat threw up. Um, I agree with you and thanks for the text. All right, so I actually had to travel pretty far to get these. So this one went to my local um, FedEx pickup center, which was an hour away. So it was a two hour round trip. I had to take the day off of work to go get spiders. So keep that in mind when you see people taking a day off, they might be doing really weird things like picking up spiders an hour away from their house. But let's open these little guys up and we'll see what we got. We get a bunch of paperwork. And Fear Not even gives you paperwork. These come in email form too, um, telling you how to take care of your animal. That's just an extra little added touch that I think is awesome, especially if it's your first tarantula. If this is the first tarantula you get and you order them online, I would absolutely say go for Fear Not Tarantulas. A lot of them are great. A lot of the places are great. Some of them just have a little bit less communication, which is fine when you're talking about having 20 or 30 animals. But if you're, it's your very first one, then I would recommend doing someone who really kind of holds your hand through it in a really good way. And Tanya and Fear Not Tarantulas does that. Foam pack to keep it warm and Tanya always has very festive colors. I've had blue, I've had pink, I've had red. And these should be the spiders. And if you never ordered spiders in the mail, this is what it looks like. Well, good company packaging. This is what it looks like. And there we go. I know it seemed like a lot of packaging for such tiny little things, but this is a way that you ensure that the animals are safe in transit. If you don't see packaging like this, um, then I probably wouldn't recommend going with that company. But again, fear not tarantulas, this is how they come. And uh, I've never had an issue with them. So let's pull this over just in case. Um, neither of these species should give me any problems. They're both new world. So one is a Brachypelma verdesi. Let me see if I can get in on that. Probably not. Uh, the Mexican Rose Gray. And the other one is a Gramostola Rosea, the Chilean Rose Hair. And it's RCF red color form. I didn't want to get something this small because these take forever to grow. This is a tiny little spider and it is going to be this tiny for a long, long time. I was hoping to find a female and I'm still going to look. But since I couldn't find an adult or a juvie, I went with a sling. And also in order to ship it, you have a minimum spend. So I went with another sling and I love the Bracky Palma genus. Um, every Bracky that I have is amazing and I think they are awesome. So I threw on a Bracky Palma Verdesi, the Mexican Rose Gray, which again is pretty small, but I think they're super, super cool. So I have a couple containers made up. Looking at the size of these vials, these might be kind of big. Nothing fancy, just a hide. You know, a decent amount of substrate in there couple inches um, but let's take them out and see what they look like here let's start with this rose hair um, I don't have any worry about being bit by these or anything it's just really difficult to get these out of here all right she is tiny I don't know if you can see that she is little little so I feel like these containers might be a little big hmm let me see what else I have all right, so these containers are going to make a little bit more sense. That should work better. And there she is. It's kind of hard to see here because she's so small. Oh man, she's going to be small for a long, long time. These are very long-lived tarantula, and if it's a female, 
I mean, 20, 30 years is an easy feat for these. Um, but since they do live so long, they are notoriously very slow growers. I'm absolutely pumped to have one, but she is going to be this small for a long time. But she's cool. I don't know, she crawled off by herself, but there she is. She's awesome. Chilean Rose, the classic, classic, classic tarantula species that everybody and their mother has, and I just never had one. So I'm fixing that problem. I have one now. Beautiful and healthy. You can already see she has that really reddish tint to her, uh, that rose color. And this is the red color form, so it'll be even more uh, pronounced with the red color over its body, or the red CD, the red hairs. Cool. And the next one is another Brachypelma species. Like I mentioned, it is the Brachypelma verdesi or the Mexican rose gray. So I went with two roses today, the rose hair and the rose gray. But again, you can see how little some of these spiders are when you get them. They're just tiny as slings. Seems to be okay. A little scared. Brachypelma verdesi, the Mexican rose gray. Pretty cool. I'm excited to see these things grow. All right, let's lid this one up. So that was a success. Two new additions to the collection. Both arrived healthy, seemingly okay. Um, I thought it's cool to show the actual unpacking process of buying a spider and getting it in the mail. Pretty neat process. It's like opening Christmas presents, except they can bite you. Why don't we read another text message or two? And again, if you want to get your voice heard, you can call into the hate line. It's 833-246-HATE, or that's 833-246-4283. You can call in, or now you can text in. If you want your actual voice to be heard, do that. If you just want to send me a text, then that's all right also. Okay, so let's do one or two more. So here's a text message. It says, I'm texting STOP on behalf of all America. We do not wish to receive further communication from you. <laughs> And the same person also wants to know, uh, did Russia put you up to this? No, they did not. Um, this was all my idea, actually. And we'll do one more here. Uh, this is funny. So this person just sent me a verification code, and the verification code is, I'm a loser. And the new pin is, dumbass. <laughs> uh, pretty funny. All right, we'll save some for another time. So again, call into the hate line if you're interested in learning about tarantulas and the cool, weird, creepy stuff that I have in my room, then please feel free to subscribe. Um, and if you want to get your voice heard or a text on the hate line, um, feel free to do that. And I will see you in the next one.